Hello friends, in this video we will learn how to use the path array command in AutoCAD 2016. You can find the path array option in modify panel and polar array path array like this in this group. Okay, click on the path array, select the object and uh, now select the path so I'm going to use this curve as the path now it will arrange like this so if I press enter you can see this is associative array when you select this one all the objects that I arrayed will be selected as a single object so if I want to array in different method I can choose the array command select the object and right click and select the path and again right click or you can see here there is option associative method base point tangent direction items rows like this there is options that you can change so here I'm going to turn off the associative so it will ask create associative array yes or no if I create if I click on no it will create the array without associative option so now I can select individual objects separately next select the array command select the object right click and select the path again right click you can change the tangent direction now specify the first point of the tangent click here and I can change the di tangent direction if I click here the tangent direction will be like this so this object is tangent with the first direction that I specified or if you want to choose another option click tangent direction again first and second All right. next you can choose the number of items click on the number of items now specify the distance between the items if I select the 4 unit the spacing between the object will be changed and the maximum number of items also will change here you can use maximum number of 13 so press enter or you can change the number of rows click on the number of rows if I enter two number it will create two rows of the array now it will ask the spacing between the rows if I select 4 it will give a distance of 4 units between the rows now I have to specify the elevation I can enter the value of the elevation next select the array command select the object right click select the path again select align the items with this grip point and if I know the spacing distance I can enter the spacing 5 unit enter enter again thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel